Hello friends, in this lecture we shall discuss monetary and credit policy. Monetary and credit policy, it is announced by Reserve Bank of India and this is done on annual basis, normally during the month of April. In the month of April every year, that is in the beginning of the financial year, RBI announces its monetary and credit policy. This policy is reviewed on bi-monthly basis. The policy can be an expansionary policy, which means a reduction in CRR or SLR or repo rate. This is done to augment economic growth. When economic growth is low, RBI follows expansionary policy. When there is time of inflation, then RBI follows a contractionary policy. In the contractionary policy, RBI increases the CRR, SLR and repo rate. So in the times of low economic growth, to augment the economic growth, to increase the economic growth, expansionary policy is followed and in the times of inflation, contactionary policy is followed. Policy can also be called as easy policy which indicates reducing interest rates and reducing CRR. Policy can also be called tight policy or dear policy where interest rates are increased by Reserve Bank of India. As I said earlier, this policy review is done by RBI on a bi-monthly basis. Now friends, let us see different policy rates. Policy rates can be segregated into two parts. The first, which impact the cost of money. And second, which impact the liquidity. So first we see which impact the cost of money. The first basic rate is repo rate. Repo rate is the basic rate. And second one is reverse repo rate. So reverse repo rate is attached to repo rate and it is repo minus 0.2, 0.5%. To, Marginal standing facility rate, that is MSF rate, it is also attached to repo rate, so repo plus 0.5%. Similarly, bank rate is also attached to repo rate, so bank rate is equal to repo plus 0.5%. So repo rate is basic rate and reverse repo is repo minus 5.5 and MSF and bank rate these two are repo plus 0.5. Now let us see the policy rates impacting liquidity. Liquidity is impacted by CRR and SLR. So rate of CRR and rate of SLR, these are also changed by RBI according to requirement and this is done to impact the liquidity position. So these are important policy rates and RBI keeps on changing these rates from time to time according to economic situation according to inflation situation. Now regulated interest rates 
and deregulated interest rates. Deregulated interest rates means the interest rates which banks themselves can fix. And regulated interest rate means either they are fixed by RBI or they are fixed by government. So regulated interest rate include saving bank rate, term deposit rates, lending rates including base rate that is MCLR, marginal cost based lending rate, then export credit lending rates, then property sector lending rates. All these rate of interest are fixed by Reserve Bank of India. So loans rates relating to lending they are based on the base rate which nowadays is called MCLR marginal cost based lending rate. Now let us see which interest rates are covered under regulated interest rate category. In regulated interest rate category one is DRI loans differential rate of interest loans then rate of interest charged on NRLM and NULM schemes, National Rural Livelihood Mission and National Urban Livelihood Mission and rate of interest on crop loans also. So on short term crop loans also where interest subsidy is available those rates are fixed by Government of India or by Reserve Bank of India. So this is category of regulated interest rates which are fixed by banks themselves and this is category of regulated interest rates which are fixed either by government of India or by Reserve Bank. Let us now see the important features of cash reserve ratio. Cash reserve ratio the legal provisions means the authority available to Reserve Bank of India. RBI has authority to determine CRR rate under section 42 subsection 1 of RBI Act 1934. According to these powers Reserve Bank can fix rate of CRR without any floor or without any ceiling. Floor means without any minimum or without any maximum. This means RBA has full authority to determine the rate of CRR and SLR. This rate keeps on changing from time to time and it is with reference to net demand and time liabilities of a particular bank. So rate of CRR is fixed with reference to net demand and time liabilities of a particular bank. How CRR is maintained? CRR is maintained in the form of average fortnightly balance on reporting Friday in a current account with the Reserve Bank of India. All banks are having current account with the RBI they maintain cash balance in that account and that cash balance is maintained as average fortnightly balance. This means in that account there are fluctuations. Sometime the balance goes above the fortnightly average and sometime the balance comes below the fortnightly average. But there is a requirement the minimum daily balance it must not fall below 90% of this average fortnightly balance. So this is an important requirement that balance can change but balance minimum should remain at least 90% of this average fortnightly balance. On this balance no interest is paid by Reserve Bank of India. 
on the other hand if there is default in maintaining crr then rbi recovers interest from banks in that case banks have to pay interest to reserve bank of india for default period and for default amount and this rate of interest is bank rate plus 3 percent for first day default and if default continues then rate of interest increases bank rate plus 5 percent per annum for second day onwards whenever there is default in maintaining crr banks pay interest to rbi for default period and default amount and rate of interest is for first day bank rate plus 3 percent for second day onwards bank rate plus 5 percent now major liabilities which are exempted from calculation of ndtl so to 